board members looking at agenda item G1, approval of changes to the board policy BCBI and KCA public participation at board meeting. Board members, this is a first reading. Let me say, board members and uh, audience, the purpose of this item is not to allow the board to replace public participation, but to place public participation on the agenda at any point, not to eliminate public participation. By policy, public participation is a time for the public to seek clarification from the board. Also, the policy states, no person shall be permitted to enter into any discussion, either directly or through any member of the board during public participation. Most board members hear from the public daily and bring those concerns to our <coughs> discussions regarding the school system. Board members, as we were reminded uh, last Thursday, Thursday by the Georgia School Boards Association in our uh, uh, board meeting then for um, a, a time full board training. Meetings are in public established by the board to conduct business and not a meeting for public participation. There are no requirements to have public participation during board meetings, but this board has chosen to do so. Board members, that's agenda item G1. Looking at G2, approval of the 2013 County Board of Education work session and monthly meeting dates. Board members, I believe that um, there are times during the school year and during the summertime when we have small agendas as you see this evening um, and I know that uh, all of you have other meetings that are associated with the school system we have committee meetings we have special called meetings we have budget meetings we have employee appeals we have school visits and I know that y'all field calls during the day uh, there are some system cost savings with regard to not having two meetings every month especially when we don't have a big agenda and need that mr. chairman and board members so I'm asking that um, we combine some of our meetings as we are tonight for a three agenda item meeting and uh, that we're able to streamline some of the things we do and this as I've said to many of you that this is not another full-time job for you in your service for the County <coughs> school system thank you dr. Harper and, and mr. Petty you may want to help answer this question if we see we need a work session that has not been put on the calendar can we have such a work session, a call for work session? You can. It would require 24-hour notice yes. and posting of the agenda. Mm -hmm. And, of course, we limit the to the items you on that agenda. Right. And we would still be able to have called board meetings in case the superintendent had an issue that we needed to have a called meeting to vote on. Yes, sir. So the Open Records Act, or Open Meetings Act, yes. Okay. Those would, again, be advertised mm -hmm. uh, 24 hours any other questions or comments from the board members? Mr. Chairman, the board members looking at our final item, G3. I'd like to um, amend this item with you, and rather than ask for approval, I'll ask for a first reading of our 2013-2014 calendar. Um, for those of you who have never developed a calendar, calendars are very difficult. And uh, we have uh, our data sources with the calendar is myself, the senior cabinet, uh, and the Barclay County School System employees. Those were the f that was the first group board members that gave us feedback on calendars that we submitted to them. And I'll ask Mr. Gottwald to come up and talk about that process. Mr. Gottwald. Good evening, everybody. Um, calendar process started somewhere back around October when I had a meeting with Mr. Ken Klaus, who's the associate assistant superintendent of Cartersville City. We like to have a similar a calendar as the city does, so we can work together as far as having teachers who may live in the city and work in the county or work in the county and work in the city um, have the same uh, holiday schedules, same type of uh, Thanksgiving breaks, uh, winter breaks, spring breaks, and so on. Um, that way they, they can coordinate their little vac their vacations along with their uh, with their families as well because we do have students who are in both systems and teachers who work in both systems. Um, there was a series of uh, emails and phone conversations with Mr. Uh, Klaus and the uh, um, uh, calendar we came up as you see, uh, came up with here as you see right here. We did have the uh, 
teachers vote on the calendar, and 67.4% uh, uh, chose this calendar. And so this was the one that they felt most comfortable with. When we went into this, we looked at it as a 190-day school year for the teachers, 180-day school year for the students. That is before uh, with everything that we're trying to do right now. Uh, of course, depending upon finances, that may have to change. But uh, can I believe this is what we would like to do with everything being equal and coming in like we'd like to. Um, this uh, survey was up for about 10 days and uh, got results from his cabinet and uh, shared information as far as results, as far as comments that were made. They were very appreciative of the fact they had some input into this. And so this was the one that we decided to uh, go with. Any, any questions? Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, uh, I ask that um, uh, Mr. Bagnell to uh, put this proposed calendar up on our website this morning to hopefully uh, generate some uh, community comments, and uh, we'll have those available for you next week should that occur. But, uh, Mr. Chairman and board members, that's the three agenda items for this evening. Okay, at this time I'll entertain a motion to adjourn.